Hello, Teen Girl Well. We are flipping in fifth with me, Mrs. G. Tonight's lesson is actually a pretty easy one. We're just building on what you learned in fourth grade. So here we go. First of all, begin pausing the video and drawing in a replica of your notes online on the page. In fact, if you want to really start practicing, you can do this before you even start the video from now on. Today is topic one, lesson five. And today's learning target is, I will be able to compare and order decimals. So here are some important notes. You don't have any vocabulary words for this lesson, so I want to make sure that you put these three important steps in that left-hand column. So number one, line them up. Make sure the decimal point always lines up. Number two, always start with the whole number. You may not have to go any further. And number three, move to the digit to the right and compare. If they're the same, just keep going. So why in the world do you need to know how to compare and order decimals anyway? Well, just imagine your mom brings home three lollipops that you need to split with a friend. And you kind of always want to make sure you have the biggest lollipop but you don't know how to compare them because they're all in wrappers and it's hard to put them on top of each other. So instead, you know that each lollipop is a different amount of inches in diameter. So, but you want the big one, so how are you gonna know? Which one would you choose? A lot of people might make the mistake and say, I'm gonna choose lollipop number one because look, there's one, two, three, four, five digits in that number. That's more digits than in lollipop number two or lollipop number three, right? So it must be the biggest. Don't fall for that trick. Just because it has the most numbers doesn't mean it's the biggest. So step number one, line them up. So here we have all three of our numbers and notice how the decimal point is all lined up. Okay, so yes, this has more digits than this one does, but it doesn't really matter as long as your decimal point is lined up. So step number two, start comparing on the left. So look at all of our numbers that are on the left. The furthest to the left we could go is right here. This is a three, this is a three, and this is a three. Uh-oh, what do we do now? They're all threes. Well, step number three, if the numbers are the same, <coughs> excuse me, move to the next digit on the right. So we're going to move to the next digit to the right, and uh-oh, those are all fives. Now what do we do? Again, go back to step number three. If the numbers are the same, move to the next digit on the right. So now we have a one and a two and uh-oh, that bottom number, it, it doesn't have a digit. So what do we do now? Step four, insert zeros if you need to. Remember, zero has a value of nothing. So if you add it just to help you compare, like we did down here, it isn't going to make a difference to the value of the number. So now we have three different numbers. We have a one, a two, and a zero. Can you compare those three numbers? Step five, compare. So let's see here. What number is going to be the biggest? Because we want the biggest lollipop. Is it the one, the two, or the zero? I can't hear you. It's the two. Very good. Remember, when comparing numbers, don't forget to use those gator symbols that you learned way back in first grade. Remember, the gator always eats, his mouth and his teeth always face the bigger number. So then if it's facing this way, it's going to be less than, and of course we have equal to. So here, if we're going to compare our three lollipops, we know that this number is less than this number, which is less than this number. Order. You're going to compare the numbers and put them in numerical order. So if you're going to put our numbers in order, 
you don't have to use the greater than or less than symbols. You're just going to start with the smallest and go up to the largest, putting commas in between the numbers. You're just going to put them in order, smallest to largest in this case. Sometimes a question might ask you to do largest to smallest, but in this case we were doing smallest to largest. Now you try. Go ahead and copy down all of these problems in your notebook and then I want you to pause the video so you can finish copying them down and I want you to work your best and try to figure out the answers. Then press play on the video again to check your answers. Good luck! Okay, here come the answers in three, two, one. Number one, your answer on the left is going to be greater than your number to the right. Number two, these numbers are going to be equal. Well, how is that so? Because this one has more numerals than this one does. Remember, I told you don't fall into that trap. First compare the fours, then the fives, and keep going to the right. Six, six, seven, seven. And remember, you can always add a zero if you need to because it doesn't change the value. So these two numbers would be equal. And then here, if we're starting with a number to the left, we already know that a 3 is bigger than a 2. So do we have to go any further? Nope. Just go ahead and make the 3 greater than the other number. And if we're ordering the following numbers, we're going to do exactly the same thing that we would do up here. But we're just going to put them in order separated by the commas. Before you go, make sure you've checked your work and you write how many you got correct. Be honest, be honest, this isn't for a grade. Also, I want you to fill out that self-reflection. Let me know if you think you could teach a friend on this one. And then the last question is to fill in any questions you might still have. See, I told you this was an easy one. If you still need help, don't worry about it. We'll work on it a little bit more in class tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.